here's Steven here from, uh, oh, where, where is he, Steve? What is he doing? <laughs> oh, he needs, he needs the different hair, hair, hair. Oh, crap. Now my hand's in the way. All right. Oh, where is he? Uh. <laughs> Steven from Sound Destroyer. Kim from Kimberly Dam and Connected. So I'm here with Steven again, and we were, uh, so funny. So... The next episode that actually is going to come out, Stephen, I took your, I took your advice, and we're discussing boundaries. Okay. So, but Stephen, are you ready for your mind to be blown? Okay, so he, he, he's ready. Like he's always ready. I don't know why. This is the only thing that I don't like about this. Is like it's not. There we go. Okay. So, what's so interesting is while boundaries can be really great at, you know, um, creating healthy foundations for relationships are you ready for your mind to be blown i am if you look at it from a spiritual perspective if you understand that your entire reality is just a projection of your thoughts and your beliefs then really if you're the one who associates meaning and value to everything we put boundaries in place thinking that we're protecting ourselves from getting hurt because typically when we place boundaries, we think, oh, you know, please don't do this anymore because it hurts me or whatever. But really, you're the one assigning the meaning and value to things. So once you stop doing that, you realize that your boundaries really are nonsense. It's just an illusion because nobody can really hurt you because you are everything that is. And so it's really only, I would only take the approach from if you're in the beginning stages, but if you are in the stage where you understand that your entire reality is just a projection of your core beliefs, then there's no need for it. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> All right. Well, we are about to get off this ferry going and this into, is... <laughs> and this is Kimberly Dan with Connected coming from uh, the Fort Fisher Southport Ferry. <laughs> Bye.